Hello everyone, welcome to Mokevich channel. In this video, let's talk about broomstick. And I know it's really weird, but let's talk about it because I have just finished the second episode of Ultimate Self-Defense Championship. And actually I would call this Ultimate Self-Defense Challenge, but it's not me who decided the name, but doesn't matter. Uh, I have just seen this episode and in the recommendation videos, I could see that Jeff Phillips, who was a referee in this show, he did a video, like a commentary video about all episodes before and I was really curious what he wanted to say about the broomstick when Nathan was hitting people in the head because in my opinion this should be a chaos but they just let it run Broomstick? A broomstick's not gonna hurt yeah. that much You're not gonna knock someone out with a broomstick I do not really agree what he said because he said that you cannot knock somebody out with the broomstick So when I was editing this video I found out that it wasn't him who said that but he agreed so basically for me it's the same You're not gonna knock someone out with a broomstick you'd probably exactly. snap it out And me as a guy who trained with the weapons and tried to spar with different things with not so much uh, protection on i can tell that broomstick can hit hard and to prove it i will go outside and uh, try it out on the coconut so let's go So, as you could see, broomstick can hit pretty hard. This test proving anything? Not really. This test didn't prove anything because normally it's a 50-50 thing. And this is the same in the MMA cage or ring. That sometimes really weak punch, but in the right moment, in the right time, can send somebody to the sleep. They said that broomstick will not hurt that much and you cannot knock somebody out with the broomstick, so... Boom, sorry. Boom. Sorry. You know, it took me only two hits to crush this coconut and one of them I missed and I cannot crush the coconut just by striking with, you know, cross or jab or hook or uppercut. I could do it with the hammer fist when I was holding uh, my self-made uh, tactical whip. You can see the video. I know some people can crush coconut with their hands. You could argue that this stick could be a plastic stick or this aluminum stick like, like this. And this stick can hit hard, but can also bend or, you know, just break and you cannot use anymore. But most of the time in the big places like schools, factories or sports halls, they're going to use a uh, wooden sticks because they are harder. And if you have to sweep something in big places, they need uh, more sweeping. So wood holds better than this plastic or this aluminum things. And normally you use this aluminum or plastic sticks for home use or the, in the office, not in the big area like this, where they train or, or where they shoot this uh, show. Wooden stick can give some damage. It's interesting that in episode number two, when you get hit with the billard stick, then you are out of the fight. But actually billard stick is much weaker than broomstick just because of the shape, how it is. This kind of stick is really easy to break. I remember when I was one time on the bachelor party, one of my friends, he break this kind of stick on his knee and I cannot see this kind of thing could happen with the broomstick. But yeah, actually I make this video because I wanted to crush the coconut with the broomstick. So yeah, this is it. Let me know in the comment section what is your opinion about this. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.